holiday concert. We're so glad you've chosen to spend a part of your evening with us. I know it's um, a lot to have to get tickets. We've never done tickets until this year, but thank you for getting tickets, and thank you for bringing friends and family and neighbors with you. And whether you're joining us in person or whether you are joining us at home in your comfy pants on your sofa via live stream, we are so glad you're here with us this evening. Um, please take a moment to silence your cell phones, and we will start our concert with Concert Choir. All right, you see some names in bold in the program, and those are indicative of soloists. And our first soloist this evening is Mead Evans from Concert Choir. And also, Mead is one of our recently elected, not elected, but he just earned a position in all district choir through competitive auditions. So yay me! Oh yeah, uh, this is my mom. She's my accompanist.
beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go, take a look at the five and ten, glistening once again with candy canes and silver lanes aglow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of hop-along boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben. Dolls that will talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go Now there's a tree in the Grand Hotel One in the park as well The sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start And the thing that will make them ring Is the carol that you sing right within your heart a pair of hop-along boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben dolls that will talk and will go for a walk are the hope of Janice and Jen and mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas soon the bells will start and the thing that will make them ring is the carol that you sing right within your heart. Thanks, Mead. That was awesome. So um, we're going to call up next to the stage Charlottesville Singers. And in the meantime, I would like to say a huge thank you to Dave Stipe and Paul Rosner, who are doing our sound, our lights, our stage setup, who have done everything in here to make all this possible tonight. And also to Rod Dura, who is doing our live stream for our folks who are joining us from home this evening. So thank you, gentlemen, very much. We've at, this time of year is very busy for all of us. So last, some of you may have caught us last Friday night downtown at the Grand Illumination, which was everybody. Um, so it was nice to be out in a downtown looking like it ha hasn't in quite a while. And also there are 10 chaperones that went along with us to herd us along. And I'm really appreciative, appreciative for all of you. Thank you. All right, Charlottesville Singers.
So be merry while you play. To the little red room, come be merry while you play for a joyful Christmas. Next up for our solo, we have El Polifka. We are so fortunate in the choirs of Charlottesville High School to have a bunch of people who also play instruments, which you'll get to see a quartet later. But piano is one that we, we like to add. 
Um, and this evening, we have El Polifka with a tune that's probably a little bit familiar to some of us. And I would like to also mention that L is another one of our all district choir delegates. There you go. Congratulations to John. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is Nightingales, who have a little bit of a varied program for you tonight. We, they are going to be accompanied by Anne Marie Morrison, who is also morning choir, and she's also in band. She's a very talented young lady on the flute. Um, also, yeah, thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, woo That's right. Wait till you hear her play. It's even better. <laughs> um, also, I'd like to say thank you to all of our usher volunteers this evening. We could not do it without you. And thank you, our audience, for adhering to what we've asked you to do by sitting every other row, by wearing your mask while you're here. We appreciate that so much. Also, I have to mention this fella back here, Kevin White. <laughs> we are very lucky that Mr. White comes to play with us a couple of weeks every year before a concert, before every concert, so we're mighty glad to have him tonight.
Now the nightingales are going to do what they do best. The Nightingales, thank you. Right. Next up, we will have a solo by Lee Baker. <laughs> yes.
Thank you, Lee. That was gorgeous. All right, Karen Carpenter, y'all come on up. Um, so, like I said, this is a very busy time of year for us. Every time you turn around, there's another performance to go to or do. So, in addition to this tonight, um, you can see Charlottesville Singers at the Paramount. Uh, Saturday the 18th, we'll be performing in the evening show with the Oratorio Society of Virginia at 7.30. So you can join us there if you want more, plus the Oratorio Society, who's wonderful. Also, Nightingales will be performing in the end of February at the annual Winter Songs event at Monticello High School. It's a benefit concert to, for the Shelter for Help in Emergency, otherwise known as the She Shelter. Um, it's a good day for young women and learning about how to be, the, be their best selves. Also, a lot of folks from different choirs, you will see them, you can see them in James and the Giant Peach, which is the production of our musical theater ensemble class. Um, that's gonna be in January the 7th through the 9th. So many, many things to look forward to. So write those down, please come. It's, it's terrible to sing to empty orange seats. So we'll be glad to have you. Before you now is morning choir. These are the young people who show up an hour before school every day to sing because they like to and they have too many other things going on. But I'm, I'm so, it's, I love starting my day with these young folks and I think they have a little bit of fun too sometimes. Maybe, I don't know. They walk in looking like they should have had a V8, you know, sideways. Some of you get that. Anyway, morning choir.
Next up, we will have a solo by Cecilia Morrison, who is a member of Nightingales and Morning Choir. Um, Cecilia will be leaving us for a semester to go study in the Netherlands, so we will miss her greatly, and you're about to hear why. You may take him. I'm going to be singing Claire de Lune, which is a French piece, and it's kind of about singing to the moon while you're at a masquerade party. She's coming back, though. That's the good news. We're very glad. Um, but we wish you a wonderful yeah, semester abroad. Um, also, while we're, everybody's making their way to the stage, I'd like to say a special welcome, and, I'm, and I've never met him in person, but I believe he's here. Our new superintendent, Dr. Royal Gurley, is with us this evening. Will you please stand if you are here? There he is. Hey, you came. You said you would. Thank you for being here. Also, I'd like to thank all Charlottesville City Schools employees and um, Charlottesville High School employees. I know many of you come to support these young people behind us. Please stand up so that we may also give you a round of applause. Thank you so much. Okay, good. Thank you. I know two of you had to be here, but thank you anyway. We'll give you credit. Um, anyway, um, also, you see a young lady walking around with a camera, Gina Prue. She is our personal paparazzi, and we want to thank her so much for documenting all that we do. Uh, and so we, she's a, a, a wonderful, wonderful gift to us. Thank you. And so I think that's everything for now. Voices of Virginia, please step forward. Voices of Virginia is a group that started a couple of summers ago uh, when we took a tour to France with 
not Tour de France, but Tour of France, with um, our friends from Albemarle High School and from St. Anne's Belfield schools to our sister city of Besançon. And we were scheduled to go to Italy, but, well, can't do that. But hopefully we will be able to travel again before too long. We look forward to collaborating with our friends from across the way very soon. Voices of Virginia. They only practice once a week for 30 minutes. So it's kind of nice to have them too. And the nice thing about Voices of Virginia is there's a, they're representatives from all four of our ensembles here at Charlottesville High School. All right, rejoin the rest of the group. Okay, we have three finale pieces for you this evening which involve everyone. The first two, if you came to the Grand Illumination last week, um, you heard them, however, you'll get to hear them again without the benefit of the Santa Land Express <laughs> with a Briggs and Stratton engine bringing right beside us as we try to sing. So very much thank you. Here we are. All I want for Christmas is you and let it snow, let it snow.
often. The lights are turned way down. The lights are down. Oh, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. In the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be, I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear. Okay, as we prepare for our final finale, finale, final, final finale, um, and there are a few other people I need to recognize for their um, success in getting into all district choir. We have, please wave, raise your hand, Isabel Wunschman McCoy. Hi. Luke Vomley. Izzy Reed. Evelyn Lepsch. Bob Kamoff, who could not be with us this evening. Akari Hernandez. And not only does he sing and play the cello, Dylan Stukenberg will also represent the district. There's one more performance coming up at the end of January. It's our Fine Art Showcase, where you get to hear the jazz band, and they're awesome, and you get to hear the full symphony orchestra, and we have a visual presentation of our visual arts program, and then there's a teaser for the spring musical, and, it's, it's all, and we're, we're gonna do three or four movements from Schubert's Mass in G with full orchestra. So um, that's to look forward to as well, so please put that on your calendar. I'll send you an email. Are we about ready over here with our quartet? Um, the piece you're, we're going to, our final piece this evening is Ose Shalom. Last year, uh, during, during the awfulness, but uh, we, we, if it wasn't for Dave Stipe back there, who also does our sound, and his friend Aaron Jodowin, who is a Broadway pianist. He plays in uh, pits in New York. He does cattle calls. He's just all over the city of New York. Um, but he was staying at home with his five-year-old who was going to school for the first time virtually. Um, so he picked up video editing. 
as a funsy. And so between Dave and Aaron, they made our virtual choirs possible last year. So a round of applause for them um, a year later. But this was the finale of our, of our concert, and it was also our contribution to the grand illumination of Charlottesville last year, because that was all virtual as well. Um, as Dave said, he heard him warming up today, and it turned out very well last year, but just to hear them sing it in person means all the difference in the world. So think about the words of Ose Shalom, the one who gives us peace.
I have one last thing to say. Um, I forgot this. Uh, we have had a young lady with us this year, uh, just for half a year. Her name is Laura Guadagni, and she will be returning to Modena, Italy uh, before the, the next semester begins. So we want to say thank you. We love you. We're so glad you were here with us for just a little while and something to send you on your way. Normally, I would say join us in the lobby for a reception, but we're not doing that. Um, but we are still, this is my NPR moment. If you have enjoyed what you've heard this evening, Becky Lynch is in the lobby with a large blue can, and any donations are cheerfully accepted. Happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate, and we hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you.